Damn it. I'm actually too hot in this. Sorry. That makes me look less orange. No, and you get away. Hey, it's so nice to have you in a video with me again. I feel so much more comfortable when I have someone else with me. I feel less like a maniac. Hello lovelies, today I thought I'd bring Andrew into the video again. He is my boyfriend, in case you do not know yet. And we recently went on a Kentucky tour together where we travelled to three countries in two weeks. So I thought it would be great to make a video about travelling with your partner from pet peeves to the best places you can go with your significant other. So did you ask the community for questions again, Theo? I sure did. <laughs> Sounds like we're on a TV programme. I sure did. Do you want me to answer them? So I asked you on Twitter and you guys are amazing with asking me questions. You make the videos such a pleasure for me to make and they also feel a little more meaningful when you get involved. It's your cue, Andrew, you know that. What? So Theo, question. what are the questions? <laughs> what is the best and worst thing about travelling with a partner? Well, I'll go first, Andrew. Mm. My best thing is that I get to travel with my best friend. I have an accomplice. I think the worst thing about travelling with each other is, well... How honest are we going to be here? Very honest. <laughs> I think maybe the worst thing about traveling with you, Andrew, is you get kind of a bit stressed. With me, I'm all excited and I'm just so happy and you're just like super worried the whole time about things going wrong. Um, and you get a bit edgy when we arrive too. So maybe that, but I suppose that's something that can be improved upon if you want to. But I'm also willing to stick by you anyway when you're like that. Because okay. I know I have my own problems. <laughs> Your turn. Um, I haven't done much traveling before. So it's always nice to go with someone who has, and lucky for me, Theodora has. I've been very lucky too. So she she does know some ins and outs of traveling, which is nice, and she always pushes us to go out and do things, which is really cool. The worst thing about traveling with the partner is, unfortunately, you can't always rely on them, <laughs> weirdly enough. They're dealing with their stuff, and you have to make sure that you deal with your stuff. Just otherwise, things, you don't always meet halfway, and it's just meh. If we want to be less personal here, I think one of the harder things about traveling with a partner is being in their space for such a long time. If you're not used to that, if you're in a stage in your relationship where you're seeing them on the regular but you're not always with them, um, then it might be difficult. Yeah. You know, go on an experimentary weekend away with someone maybe first and see how that goes. And also I think it depends on how well you deal with conflict because you are going to get into conflict when you're um, in a space together yeah. and you're doing things. And so it's how well you're able to forgive that person or work through issues that's really important. Did we have any issues? Um, we were really good. Mm, we still I, think, I think we looked at the bigger picture there and we yeah. just thought, well, we're actually on holiday. We might as well just make up now and just get on with it because we've got some cool stuff to do later on in the afternoon. <laughs> Would you rather be with a tour group or go on a tour by yourself? The first holiday we went on together, we were completely on our own and it was so nice, I loved it, but there was certain aspect about it that was difficult and that was we weren't quite sure what to do each day. Yeah. We, we, we didn't have a very social time and it was lovely to spend time with each other and stuff, but like if I look back on it, I think I would have preferred to have done more things with people. Something like Kentucky, especially if you're young and you want to meet amazing young people mm. and you also want to go on a tour that's suited to you they have so many different tours for different personalities and also when you don't have a partner because it's amazing to get to a place and make instant friends because everybody else is in the same boat and so many people go traveling individually on the tour packages so i would go if you're in a group or not in a group i think they're the best okay my turn oh. <laughs> Ooh. Swiping the laptop. Did I break something? No. no. Come on, you didn't. I'm good. Okay. So, where are we going next? Our next trip is to Ireland and England for summer in the city. And Andrew's coming with me. So, Woo! that is super exciting. You get to meet him, hopefully, if he comes along. It's We're going away for, for three weeks. It's his <laughs> first time in Europe, as you just said. Mm. I'm so excited to bring him to where I actually was born. And he gets to meet some of my family members. I'm quite excited to meet Aunt Mary. Yes. Aunt Mary's going to love you, Andrew. <laughs> Would you ever come to the Philippines? Yes, and yes, I have watched that video and I would love to come to the Philippines and I'm sure Andrew wants to Wait, what well. do you mean you've watched that video? There was a video that somebody made, okay, about wanting to bring YouTubers to the Philippines oh. and a whole bunch of people watched it and shared it. Hopefully oh. one day we'll be able to go. Where do you think is the most romantic place to go with your partner? Go find a really quiet, hidden away place. Not only could you possibly make out, <laughs> I was trying to be funny, but it wasn't even funny. It was just awkward. Make yourself a picnic. That was awkward. <laughs> Make yourself a picnic. Talk about life. 
find a place that's secluded. Mm. That's what I was trying to say without mm. embarrassing myself. No making out. So I have a question for you, Angie, because nobody's tweeted this and I really want to speak about it. And that is our highest and lowest points of our recent Kentucky. So my highest point was meditating in a Buddhist temple in Chiang Rai. That was pretty, pretty epic. Yeah, we snuck off away from the group and we took 20 minutes to ourselves and we found ourselves meditating. It was amazing. My low would probably be our last day and oh, saying yeah. goodbye to everyone. That was really mm. sad. I think my highlight was when I woke up feeling sick. I know this seems like a really weird highlight, but I woke up feeling sick and I felt really horrible about that situation. Um, but instead of staying in bed and feeling miserable, I decided to take paracetamol and go on an amazing bicycle ride. Mm. It was our trip manager's day off and she said that she was going on a bicycle ride and we were very welcome to join her. And we went on this bicycle trip all the way to this blue lagoon. And it was one of these really tough kind of bicycle rides. It was so hot, it was so mm. bumpy dusty. and dusty mm. and sweaty. But it was such an amazing achievement and the things we saw along the way were unforgettable. And just the fact that I actually could uh, forget about my illness because I was in such an amazing mm. place, it just made me really happy about life. I think the lowest point was definitely leaving, but if it was something on the trip, it was when Andrew felt too sick to come with us to see the floating mm. village. There was just so mm. many great things, you wouldn't want to miss a single thing on that trip, especially when they said this is optional. The best part was everyone would do it. They were like, does anyone not want to do it? Not one person mm. would ever do that. Thank you so much for watching our video. Also? Yes, also. Thanks to Kentucky. Oh yes! Thank you so much for Kentucky for giving us the opportunity to go as a couple and experience mm. Asia, um, to experience Thailand, Cambodia and Laos. It was the most incredible experience we've ever had and we thank you for letting us experience it and share it with the world. So awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. We'll be seeing you soon. Bye!